All right, I'm down here on the Sabine today. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's 70 something degrees, December 13th. I'm not sure of the date, but uh, we're gonna do a little how I like to take off to prepare for shallow water, which I know this is just sandy and leaves right here. This ain't gravel bars or rocks, but it's what I got today. Uh, and the importance of the trim, and we're gonna launch this right there below where I'm at. And then how quick you can get on the trim and to successfully navigate something. And I see a lot of folks with these broke shoes and stuff like that. And I know mistakes happen. Jeez, they can happen quick out here on the river. But uh, <clears throat> just the importance of getting your trim up as high as possible as soon as you get going. Um, I'll get on the trailer later and we'll show you more of that. But just the angle of attack when you go to hit something. But uh, here we're just going to show if I come through here trim down, my shoe will hit and I won't make it over this. That's a probably about two or three inches over there depth. And um, I don't know, right here where I'm at is, I don't know how deep that is. It's a little past my knuckle. Funny deep, but I'm going to launch just right back there. I don't know, 20, 30 feet, just enough to get on plane and be full trim before I hit this. So I got my rock ejector open right now. I'm just gonna trim up a little bit, give it a little shake, make sure I'm clean. Cause you don't wanna be trying to take off when you're dirty. And uh, I'm trimmed all the way down, which I'm back, I drifted back a little further. I'm just gonna idle up. Uh, and here we are probably 35 feet. Which we're on bottom already, so. glide over that boom trim back down which I could have trimmed on it back down and got on it never lost plane but I'll show y'all one more time how skinny that is Uh, try to do it from this end it's a little more blunt when you come up to the shallow in this end so here we are right up here on it and uh, the wind noise is turning out to be kind of bad in the videos it's just just how it is i guess i'm using a cell phone but anyway here we are right here you're gonna give on the gas trim 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 no hit trim down go so fun so what I did here when I came back to the ramp right here, um, I was running wide open, trimmed all the way up as high as I could without sucking air, you know, so. Uh, and I left it that way when I loaded on the boat and just want to show y'all the reasons for keeping her trimmed up all the way. Just imagine you're running, ever how fast your boat can go, and there's a rock, log, whatever, shallow water, don't matter, sandbar, if it's right here, Look at this angle of attack. I mean, it's it's almost like what you would ricochet. You ever shot a gun into the water? Well, if you shoot it at an angle, especially a 22 or something, that thing will ricochet every time. So what we're doing here is just ricocheting what we hit off. And if you watch my other video on uh, outboard jet mercury issue or benefit, it talks about this little bush in here is blown out. This motor will actually rise up and down about an inch, inch and a half. So. When you hit something at this angle, all it really does is shove that motor up a little bit and you're on your way. And plus, you know, I run the rock ejector. This is all stainless steel across here. And it actually isn't real, real sharp. You can't see it, I don't think, but um, when you hit stuff, it doesn't want to dig into that sharper aluminum that's normally there uh, and break the back of that shoe off. But also the angle attack is the biggest thing. Now we're gonna trim it down. That's trimmed all the way down, and imagine that same rock hitting at this angle attack. No different than the 22 shooting across the water. If you shoot the 22 and it hits the water at this angle, it's probably going to bury into the water. Uh, I know that may be a weird analogy, but that's the one we're going to go with. So that's why you want to always stay trimmed up as high as possible to change the angle of attack of the impact. Because you're going to hit if you're out there riding. You're going to get complacent. You're gonna be just cruising along. Pow, dang. I didn't think I was gonna hit something right there and that's what gets you. 
normally when you're running shallow getting skinny, I mean, you're working it anyway, but it's when you least expect it that uh, you get that. But anyhow, that's the trip for today. We're gonna get on out of here, head back to the house. So uh, right here, we got this sign here. Let me show you. Boat ramp provided by the Sabine River Authority. Thank you. Thank you for this provision. Please observe safe boating practices. What they mean is pinned back and trimmed up. 